about time. What's going on? <laughs> Rumor Report, Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report Talk to him. with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Just so you guys know, behind the scenes, we tell Envy like five times what's coming up next. And he always is like, what are we doing? No, but y'all got me doing reads. There's so many things I'm doing. So it gets slick. I don't pay attention. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Every day. All right. Khloe Kardashian on the latest episode of their Hulu show uh, found out that she has brain trauma from Tristan Thompson's cheating. Here's the doctor with the MRI machine. And you've had trauma. Do you see this diamond? Yeah. So this often will go with emotional trauma. Okay. What does the diamond mean? Emotional trauma. That's what it means. Okay. Got it. Yeah. My last ex-boyfriend, um, there was a lot of cheating while I was pregnant. And then he just had a baby with somebody else while we were together that I found out. And all these things I find out about from social media myself. So it's pretty tra- traumatic. It sounds unbelievable that this is something that one person has gone through. Man, is it bad that after that whole thing with the fake um, <laughs> lie detector test, I'm like, I don't know if I believe this is a real doctor. But um, yes, I do feel like she definitely is traumatized from having to go through all of those things. And she also revealed on the episode that Tristan Thompson proposed to her back in December of 2020, and she kept it a secret because she wanted to be proud of the relationship before going public. But as you can see, it didn't happen. Yeah, mm. I think she she got all trauma right. from that. I think I think anybody would have got trauma from somebody cheating yeah, on them. Yeah, anybody did, especially publicly and all it's that. Yes, yeah, so I believe it. No, I believe it, but I'm just saying, is it a real? You know, because remember they had the lie detector test, and then Ray J was like, that wasn't even a real lie detector I mean, I know, test I, and all I, that stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that's a real doctor, but you know, when you sit down and you have you know conversations with with women, I'm not saying it don't happen to men, but when you have conversations with women who have been in like relationships where they've been married and they have kids and they got cheated on, like yeah, they do experience trauma in a a real way from those situations. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I don't even know if I, men realize how much they be hurting women when they, you know, get caught cheating out there. But nah, it's definitely pain there. You can feel physical pain when you get so hurt. Emotionally. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Diddy was on the Art of Dialogue and he talked about the biggest tip that he ever gave to somebody. <laughs> What's the biggest tip you've given in, in real life? Um, 250,000. Jesus. Yeah. What was, what was their, their re- you changed their life, whoever this person was. What was their reaction? Was it just, did they just pass out? I had, no, I had, because I had one, two million. A um, tip? I had one, two million at, oh. um, in Vegas. Right. And so I just, I tipped the person that, um, that was the um the dealer, whatever the you call dealer, it. yeah. So I took the person that was the dealer with that. Son and of then God. and then you know if I'm on a yacht, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, maybe it, it's a tip for a whole crew, but for one person, it was it was a quarter of a million dollars. Goodness Lord. Yeah, if I win, we all win. Yeah, yeah apparently yeah, so. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Charlamagne, what's who's the uh biggest tip you gave to, to somebody? The biggest tip I gave to somebody? I don't remember. I mean, you know, the big tips come from um Groups, like like he said, you know, it's not. I'm not talking about when you're on a yacht, but like you know, when you had dinner with a bunch of people and you tell everybody leave like you know twenty dollars. That's you know that all of those people together amount for come together for a big amount of money. So, you know, for for a big tip when you want a big big tip, you got to have a group envy. Go ahead, okay. yeah, continue on. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> and I will say, and I get that though. You're at the the tables. You're winning, and you should tip the dealer on a way smaller, on a way no, smaller scale. You... When I was at the iHeart Festival over the weekend, I won what was it, five hundred dollars, and I tipped the dealer a hundred dollars because you feel good. You won. You was up. It was money you didn't have before, so you get a tip. Right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, Trevor Noah. It looks like he is leaving the Daily Show. Here's what he had to say on his show. But after seven years, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's time, you know? I spent two years um, in my apartment, not on the road. You know, stand-up was done. And, and when I got back out there again, I realized there's another part of my life that I want, to, I want to carry on exploring, you know? I miss learning other languages. I miss going to other countries and putting on shows. I you know, miss just being everywhere, doing everything. And, and I'm really grateful to every, every single person who's here, even the people who aren't here right now, because they went on to do great things who helped us do this thing. And so uh, we'll figure out the timings and the whens. You know, we'll, we'll still be here for the time being. But uh, 
All I can say is thank you very much. You've truly <laughs> made this. You've truly made this. One of the best experiences of my life. Man, drop on the clues, bonds for Trevor Noah, man. Absolutely. It's all about doing what Seven you love. Seven years. You know? Yeah, and, and Trevor is a stand-up comic, and he makes a lot of money all around the world, you know, doing stand-up, and he probably enjoys traveling the world to do that. So I get it. And you know, he, he's he's a great guy. He's always shown me nothing but love. You know, he's I've done the Daily Show quite a few times. He's been on Breakfast Club. He's done my emerging Hollywood show with the Hollywood Reporter. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else. He's my lead-in on Thursday nights for my Comedy Central show, Hell of a Week. And he always tosses to the show and says Charlemagne is coming up next. He doesn't have to do that. He does not have to do that That's at dope. all. And a, lot, and, and a lot of people wouldn't. So I, I, got, I got nothing but love for Trevor, and I, I wish him all the success in the world, man. Yeah, same with me. Great and brother. He had like me, he on, me and a, the wife on his show. Hmm? It also looks like he has a new girlfriend as he was out with Dua Lipa. And they were on a date. They were um, seen dining together and kissing and everything. So, yeah. Now, who is Dua Lipa new now? Things. That sound like that sound like that sound like a uh, something infectious. What is that? What is it? She's an artist. Her? She's a singer. Oh, yeah. okay. she's, a singer. she's done stuff for iHeart many times. She's a pretty big singer. Mm -hmm. So we've actually okay. yeah had her. At the, I think she did the iHeart Festival before. If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. I don't know um, songs. I, that's not my uh, genre of music, but I do know that yeah. she's a, a pretty well-known singer. Okay. Yeah, but shout out to Trevor Nova again. Like I said, him and uh, he's invited Gia and my and myself to his show when we were doing a book. So always appreciated that, and he didn't have to do that. So salute to that brother, and we'll always support him. All right, now Charlamagne, who you giving your tip and your donkey to? Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, for after the mm -hmm. hour, Tony Blevins, uh, Apple's vice president of procurement. He needs to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with him. And in fact, we might need to take Tony to Breakfast Club Court. And it kind of falls in line with Freaky Freaky Friday. But we'll discuss four after the hour. All right. We'll get to it next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.